Alright, good morning everybody. It's uh, Sunday and uh, decided to hit a different park and it's got a really iffy signal. Uh, you can see I got a good target in the hole, but it was, and I couldn't really pinpoint it. Uh, it was jumping between like 740 and 146 and kind of all weird, weird symbols with good high tones, um, you know, which is what they say. Uh, on the forums, you know, Ramo and Goes Forever, and you know, kind of the the better uh, directors, you know, kind of say dig the tones. Well, I did. You can see I'm just, uh, you know, found found a wheat penny right there, so I'm probably, you know, 20 feet from there, and there's a uh, huge root in the hole. Um, you know, this this coin was way down there, and there's a big root right there, but uh, just, just popped it out, and it looks like it's. Uh, Looks like it's a barber. Um, D mint mark. And let's see if I can read a date. Looks like 1910. Barber. Uh, looks like something was kind of leaning against it. Uh, but awesome. So happy with that. Love finding barbers. And uh, I'll be back with you if I find anything else. Hi everybody, I'm back from the hunt. I'll show you my finds. Um, a lot of nickels today. I guess after uh, yesterday's war nickel find, I was a little more inspired to, to dig nickels, but <clears throat> everything there is just clad. Um, I did dig a lot of memorials today. Um, a lot of them were pretty deep, four or five inches, which is kind of right in the range. Um, so I ended up digging a lot of them. Uh, ended up with uh, six wheat pennies. Um, most are in the 40s, a couple in the 50s, not in any kind of great condition or anything. Um, found, a, found a Canadian penny, 1965. Uh, interesting. It's right on the surface, um, but cool nevertheless. Um, and then the, the Barber Dime. Um, actually cleaned up really nicely. Um, let's see, it's got some kind of damage from I'm guessing the root where it was in the in the ground. But, uh, otherwise, it's in really good condition. You can almost see um, you know, the full liberty. It's uh, 1910D. So not. Not a super rare variety or anything, but nice to have regardless. And uh, it was a good find. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back with you as soon as I find something else.